Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on what makes these Oblivion cities so special. Today we're going to talk about Kavach. Now, Kavach doesn't really have any side quests. Um, it's got part of the main quest, and you know it's very special in that aspect. But real quick, before the main quest, I don't know of any side quests that exist in Skinner. I haven't, or sorry, Kavach. I haven't talked to any of the people there at all. So, what's interesting to me about Kavach? is if you go up or down a road from the Imperial City, you go Skingar, Kavach, Anvil. So what happens is since there's not a lot of quests that happen in Kavach, you skip from Skingrad all the way to Anvil. And since Kavach is destroyed, which is the only city that's destroyed, since Kavach is destroyed, that area between um, Skingrad and Anvil sometimes doesn't really get explored a lot. And so there's some cool areas there. Some of my the coolest caves that I've seen are around Kvatch. So Kvatch is a destroyed city. It was a target of the Oblivion Crisis, and it's kind of like the sign that, oh, hey, these Deidre are starting to become an issue. Let's deal with them. So it's a really cool quest. I think the Siege, the siege of Kvatch and retaking it is a very, very cool quest. I really like it because you go into the Oblivion Gate, you know, you take a, you destroy it, and then you just fight through the city. You fight through a lot of unique areas. The city itself kind of reminds me of that town you start in in Skyrim. Um, the um, and it has this kind of it has a unique architecture. You can tell, but you never get to see it because it's burned down. It never gets rebuilt. Now there's a mod of Kavach rebuilt. I don't use it, but I think I'd. I think uh, I should, you know, I should use the Kvatch rebuild, but hey, you know, that's just me. You also find Martin Septim, voiced by Sean Bean, um, there, and you have to do it for the main quest. And you get a light armor piece that has some cool effects. I, I on my character that I used Oblivion Cat, I definitely used the Kvatch Curus for a while. But, you know, it's just one giant side quest, the Siege of Kvatch, retaking Kvatch. It's a very, very giant quest. Um, got a lot of combat. It's got these bigger battles in it, too. It's one of the only quests where you're not alone doing things. Like, you fight alongside the captain of the guard, and I believe, if you save him, three guardsmen and three Imperial Legion and another guy who's part of the guard and another person. So there's a lot of big battles going on where you're fighting the Deidre with these guys, and they can all get killed. Like, most of the time when I play this, the quest, only the guard captain survives. So the siege for Kvatch is really cool because you just have this big, giant battle going on where you use more than just you and a follower. It's you and a total of, I think, nine other people participating in this battle against the Deidre. It's really cool. And it sets the scene up for the main quest in Oblivion. I think it's probably one of the strongest points in the main quest of Oblivion is the Siege of Kvatch. And that's what makes Kvatch special. The area, probably, I would say, I would just guess it's one of the least explored areas. Um, it sucks that, uh, you know, it's sieged and that it never gets rebuilt. But hey, that's Kvatch for you. Let me just think about Kvatch in the comments below, guys. Is it your favorite city? I mean, it's got a tent area. I guess it's pretty cool. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. Whatever I said today.